Welcome to this comprehensive guide on how to download and install Victron's VE Configure software program for Windows computers. Don't let its dated interface fool you. This powerful software is designed for configuring a wide range of Victron's inverter and charger products equipped with the VE bus communication port. This includes the Phoenix chargers and Phoenix inverters, the MultiPlus inverters, including the MultiPlus Compact, the MultiPlus 2 and MultiPlus 2GX inverter chargers, the multi-grid range, the Quattro inverter chargers, as well as the Easy Solar and Easy Solar 2GX inverter chargers. While VE Config may seem quite overwhelming when you first open it, it's actually quite simple and easy to understand once you get your bearings. So whether you're setting up a new system or optimizing an existing one, this tutorial will be an invaluable resource in harnessing the full potential of your Victron equipment. With that said, let's begin. VE Configure can be downloaded from the official Victron download page at the following link. Once there, scroll down to the section labeled VE Configuration Tools for VE Bus Products. Here you will see some information on the latest release version of VE Config Tools, including the four software programs that make up the tool as a whole. This includes VE Configure 3, which is the program that you will use the most as it contains the majority of the settings and adjustments that can be made to Victron VE bus devices. VE bus quick configure is designed to help synchronize larger installations of up to three VE bus devices used when you want to create a three-phase setup or parallel multiple inverter charges together. VE bus system configurator is very similar to quick configure, except that its purpose is to help set up even larger installations of four VE bus devices and more. Lastly, VE Flash has a single purpose, which is to update the firmware of Victron VE bus products, either individually or systematically via the bus protocol. Note that when downloading and installing VE Config tools, all four of these software components will be automatically installed, so don't worry about picking the specific one right now. To do this, simply click on the download icon on the right that says VE Configure Tools. This will download an EXE file called VEC Setup to your computer. Once downloaded, it's time to install, which you can easily do by following these steps. Locate the downloaded EXE file on your computer, which will most likely be found in your downloads folder, unless you saved it somewhere else. Double-click the installer file to initiate the setup process. This will launch the VE Configure Tools Setup Wizard. Read the introductory information carefully to understand what the installation will entail. It's important to close any running applications to ensure that there are no interruptions during the installation process. Click the Next button to proceed to the next stage of the setup. The wizard will suggest a default folder location for installing the VE configuration tools in program files. To change the location, click Browse, select a new directory, and confirm your selection. Otherwise, proceed with the default by clicking Next again. The setup will confirm the name of the Start Menu folder that you would like to save the shortcuts to. The default is fine, so simply click the Next button again. You'll be presented with options to create shortcuts and set file associations. It's advisable to create desktop icons for easier access. Check the boxes next to VE Config, VE Bus Quick Configure, VE Bus System Configurator, and VE Flash to create shortcuts for these programs. Also set file associations if you wish to open specific Victron-related file types directly with the installed applications. Once done, click the Next button again. Review all your settings. This includes the installation location, the Start Menu folder, desktop icons, and file associations. If everything is correct, click the Install button to start the installation process. Once the installation is complete, a final screen will appear confirming the successful installation. You have the option to launch VE Config immediately after exiting the setup. If you prefer to start the program later, uncheck the corresponding box. Click Finish to close the setup wizard. If you kept the Auto Launch option on, VE Config will launch and automatically check for updates to both the software and the available assistance. Click Yes to install them if prompted. You will now also see the four software icons on your desktop and start menu which you can now use to launch any of these individual software programs when needed. With the installation complete, it's time to connect the hardware components. Make sure to check out my next video where I guide you through exactly what you'll need, as well as how to set up communication with your Victron VE bus device. 
And that brings us to the end of this video. If you've made it this far, I sincerely hope you have enjoyed the content and learned something new. If so, please leave a like and subscribe if you have, as well as to get notified of any future videos. Oh, and make sure to check out this video as well. You can also subscribe over here. And this one is pretty cool too. Lastly, don't forget to visit the Blue Power Pro Forum.